Baby, be in love with your fantasies I can be a star, make a sky so bright Welcome to my dungeon, this is ecstasy Let me play the fantasy From your own perspective, what do you think about dating somebody who has kids, like dating people with kids? What could be like some deal breakers? What are some things that could potentially be like, oh, yeah, like, I want to be with this guy and he has kids? And then, like, then again, what are some things that are like actual like deal breakers? The baby mama is definitely going to play a factor mm -hmm. in that, you know, probably more than anything, like how that interaction goes, like how, you know, because I've heard people say before, <laughs> OK, I mean, if I'm just being real, like even just growing up and I would hear people talk about like, you know, when men had a, girlfriend conversations, OK, if, you know, where it's like. I don't think he'll ever really like leave his baby. He'll always have love for his baby mama. Like, right. and, and okay. she's always going to be the, the go-to as soon as something goes wrong or she going to be the one to step in or step up or he the one, she the one that he going to run back to if something goes wrong or if, if perhaps there's still love there, he really still going to be messing around with her while he's still with you. You know, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. I, feel like I would have a lot of apprehension about it, but it's something that I, I would have to be like comfortable with. And I would have to just kind of sit back and see how their interactions observe. are and observe what the interactions are, the conversations, the communication. Like if it's just communication about the kids, then, then who, you know, that, that is what it is. Like there, there's no interference to that. But if I see, you know, there's interference and y'all hug each other before she get in the car and you leaning all in the car to talk to her when she comes over, or you say you finna go drop them off and you over there for two hours, several hours, fuck all of that. Mm hmm. I'm not. Is it, I, <laughs> is it, it's just going to raise too many eyebrows, too yeah. many question marks. Yeah. I mean, and not just because like insecurities or not. Like, I just feel like. Is, is this your perspective or just like probably like me. women in general? That's me. OK. That's me. Like, and it's not that like I would feel some type of insecurity per se. It's just more so my comfortability level. Like mm -hmm. if if you can't show me and give me. That it's about you right now. Yeah. Like, and, and I can't see that and I don't feel that, then no. Like, you mm -hmm. know, but the thing is, like, I, it's obviously such a common thing. And there is a lot of honest transactions in doing that, you know, parenting, co-parenting. And, and there's there's great co-parenting relationships, mm -hmm. which, which you should really be proud of. I yeah. think that's a great thing, especially yeah. for the kids, yeah. you know, so they can see that there's no bad blood in between y'all and but and i don't need to, to see that there's bad blood to, to feel like i'm he's not going anywhere mm -hmm. and if i'm being even more <laughs> honest like i feel like i would even want to have some type of relationship with her too so that we can communicate mm -hmm. and and it not just be through the through the man like, you know like like, like third party right mm -hmm. like if you need to call me and ask me or if i can call you and ask you about the kids or whatever like call me or, 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 <laughs> you know or, or even to the point where maybe y'all could like meet up to meet to drop the kids off right where you taking on some of that responsibility <laughs> exactly where you kind of like reassured that no he this is just a co-parenting situation that's it and they doing a good job at it right. but he's really here for me yeah but you have parents like like i i feel like you know i have a friend who co-parents with She's married. She has, she has a husband and they have kids together. And then she has one daughter that is with a, another man. But that man comes to birthday parties. He is involved. He's come to her graduation like her, you know, just stuff where he and we're all, you know, they're all in the same room together and they can still get along. There's no discomfort. There's no tension like I just feel like more so than anything, like women don't want to be involved in drama, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. if if it doesn't involve them. Yeah. So if, especially if it has to do with something that came that that happened and transpired way before you even came into right. the picture, and they still kind of, and, and that's kind of like bleeding over into now exactly. your relationship. That's the thing is I, <clears> I think <throat> it's just it's just you know you don't want to be involved in the drama, especially if that woman also has kids too, because then they're having to do the exact same thing. If if I were to be with a man like that, like I think it says a lot about what type of man you might have considering the relationship that you have with the baby's mother. I, I, was, like, wait, I was waiting for you to get around to that part too. Be, yeah, because if it's disrespectful yep. and you just blank, like you just 
every it's, chance it, it's you just, get. It's just a matter of time is, before it bleeds over into right. Yeah. It's nasty and it's dirty and it's like, damn, you talking about your kid's mama? And, and he doing her like that? Yeah. Think about if if we if we have a a couple of like issues and problems, how you gonna right. try to treat me? Right. Yeah. Exactly. I was waiting for you to get kind of come around to that part too, because that was the part that I was thinking of. I'm like. Uh, a lot of that's going to do with uh, like how he actually treats her and how yeah. he communicates with her. That probably over everything mm -hmm. is I just I need to just sit back and see how you finna treat and her because that. in the in the situation that me and you come up pregnant and we end up having a kid, I need to know that if we don't stay together, right, what, we ain't gonna fall down the same right. What your interaction might be with your baby mamas because that that matters mm -hmm. and it says a lot about yeah. the person that you're dealing with yeah. too. Do you think that it's like a turn off though for you know people to be single with kids like for a woman to be like single with kids or even single fathers like is there a different outlook of how you see that? Like if you see a a father that's a single father mm -hmm. that's raising a a, a, a a kids or a kid mm -hmm. in general and they live with him and so on and so forth like i wonder if the attraction factor is different from from a woman because i feel like if a woman sees a man and 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 seeing him being a great dad a great father like that's an eye opener mm -hmm. you know <laughs> like it would be like oh man that's how it will be wow. for me too. I don't think that it's a turn off. I feel like it's one of those things that you kind of got to observe to see how they interact. Yeah. Being a single mom or being a single dad, like seeing how they interact with their children. That'll give you a good barometer to, to understand maybe some things that might have happened before you came into the picture. Right, right. So, no, I don't think that it's a, it's a turn off at all. I feel mm. like that you got that you got to be cautious before you get into that relationship, because obviously they have a past with someone else that they had children with. Yeah. So I feel like you got to really, really pay attention to who they are, who their character is. And, you know, maybe ask them some defining questions, you know, as y'all get to know each other regarding like, you know, things that didn't work out in the past and 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 what their outtake and, and what their outlook is like moving forward with their with their life now that they're single with children. I feel like it's like a red alert. Like if, yeah. I, like if I saw a woman and she's like single with two, three kids and I meet her and we're dating, like my red flags are up. Not necessarily that she got two or three kids, but maybe two or three different baby daddies. Bam. There you go. <laughs> red flags. If you got them all with the same daddy, maybe it won't be so bad. That's but, true. That's true. You know. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Same with... Same, you know, if it were the other way around. Yeah. You know, if you've I, seen a dude that had six baby mamas, I'm going to be like. No. Okay, yeah, no. Hell no. Right. Like, <laughs> you, you're going to be one of those ones. They'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, you can call me. And then you give them the number and that last digit is wrong. It's the wrong digit. No, right. don't call me. i call you. Yeah, okay? That exactly. part. That's big, too, in regards to how many baby mamas or how many baby daddies they have. Yeah. But at the end of the day, with them being single with children, I'm still going to have the red flags up. Because okay. I, I, you, you got to convince me.